Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi rahman ar-rahim. Rabbish rahli sadri, wa yassir li amri, wa ahlu luqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Harf jar? That's better. Harf jar? Insha'Allah. That's better. We start with our drill, huh, brother and sisters? Ready? Insha'Allah by now you have memorized it, huh? But we will practice it. Ready? Huwa, huma, hum. Ya huma hunna anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna ana nahnu huwa huma hum ya huma hunna anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna ana nahnu huwa huma hum ya huma hunna anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna Ana nahnu, mashaAllah, mashaAllah. What we did now, we pronounced Damirun Munfasilun, detached pronoun. They are always marfu. They are always marfu. This these pronouns are always marfu, and all pronouns are definite. You will remember all the pronouns are. Definite. Eh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Now we start from the bottom. Today, kara a, kara a, kara u, kara at, kara ata, kara na, kara ata, kara tuma, kara tum, kara ti, kara tuma, kara tun, kara tu, kara na. Atalibu. Karaa, atalibatu, karaat, huwa, karaa, hiya, karaat, ana, karaatu, anta, karata, anti, karati, nahnu, karaana, hum, karau, atullabu, karau, atalibatu, karaana. Got the idea? Inshallah. Akala. To eat. Or he ate. That is the correct translation. He ate. Ready? Akala. Akala. Akalu. Akalat. Akalata. Akalna. Akalta. Akaltuma. Akaltum. Akalti. Akaltuma. Akaltunna. Akaltu, akalna. We have to remember, as soon as we come to hunna, and after hunna, the lam kalima gets a sukum. So we cannot say akalana, no. Akalna, akalta. Lam kalima gets a sukum. Muhammadun akala. Aminatu akalat. Al-awladu akalu. Al-nisau Akalna, ana akaltu, anta akalta, anti akalti, nahnu akalna, antum akaltum, antunna akaltunna. Hal akalta biryani al yom? Say yes. Naam. Akaltu. What will you say? Hal akalta biryani al yom? Naam. Akaltu. Hal akalti halwa puri al yom? Naam. Akaltu. Yes, I did. Hal akaltum biryani al yom? Naam. Akalna. You will say? Akalna. Are you with me? Hal akala muhammadun biryani al yom? Naam. Akala. He ate. There is little more to come. We will say, Naam akala hu, which is mafulun bihi. That is coming in book two. 
So for the time being, uh, we are not going in that much detail, detail because the verbs, if you are familiar with English grammar, the verbs can be transitive and intransitive. Huh? What is transitive verb and what is intransitive verb? We will do in detail in book two. And it's very interesting and very simple. Huh? And you will enjoy it, inshallah. Okay? Now, let's say Shariba. Huh? Shariba, Shariba, Sharibu, Sharibat, Sharibata, Sharibna, Sharibta, Sharibtuma, Sharibtum, Sharibti, Sharibtuma, Sharibtunna, Sharibtu, Sharibna. Hal Sharibta Shaya ya Salman? Naam Sharibtu. See, that's the way it should come. Hal Sharibti Kahwal Yom? Sharibtu. Mashallah. See, it should come to us that now we have to say Sharibtu because I am replying, you know, okay? Mashallah. Samia. Ready? Samia, Samia, Samiu. Samiat, Samiata, Samiana, Samiata, Samiatuma, Samiatum, Samiati, Samiatuma, Samiatuna, Samiatu, Samiana. Hal Samiata Lazana? Samiatu. Hal Samiati Lazana? No, Samiatu. Right now we are only answering in affirmation. Huh? Are you with me? Hal samiyatum maladhana? Samiyana. Samiyana. Okay? Hal samiyatum maladhana? Naam. Samiyana. Samiyana. Because you are answering for? Okay? See that is why we have in the Quran all the time we say Rabbana hablana all the time us. Ihdina uh, us. Uh, we are going to learn everything and we are going to analyze everything, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, uh, samiyana atahana. Uh, so, Samiyana, what is Samiyana? We heard. Uh, that is it, you know? Okay? Uh, yes, yes. Wa ilaykal masir. What is ilaykal masiru? What is it? Ilaikal Masiru. What is this Ilaika? Jahar Majroor. Shibu Jumla. Khabar. Where is Mubtada? Al Masiru. Hmm? Okay, so these things we are going to, inshallah, analyze it, inshallah. Raja'a. 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 Raja'u. Raja'at. Raja'ata. Raja'na. Raja'ata. Rajatuma, Rajatum, Rajati, Rajatuma, Rajatunna, Rajatu, Rajana, Masha'Allah. Hamidun, Raja'a. Zainabu, Raja'at. At-Tullabu, Raja'u. Al-Auladu, Raja'u. At-Talibatu, Raja'na. An-Nisa'u, Rajana, Anta, Rajata, Nahnu, Rajana, Ana, Rajatu, Anti, Rajati, Antum, Rajatum, Antunna, Rajatum. Then we do Zahaba. Huh? Ready? Zahaba, Zahaba, Zahabu, Zahabat, Zahabata, Zahabna, Zahabta. Zahabtuma, Zahabtum, Zahabti, Zahabtuma, Zahabtunna, Zahabtu, Zahabna. Okay? So, if you, you know, get strong in a couple of patterns, everything will become easy. Those 50 or plus verbs in the sheet, uh, we got to do it. Huh? Huh? Inshallah, as much as you can do it. Huh? So that Maybe, you know, we'll start Mudarya in next uh, week or so. Huh? I will start Mudarya. Huh? Now, the thing is, we are doing lesson number uh, 20 today. 
or 19? Is it 19? 18, I'm jumping. Huh? I'm too anxious to finish the book. Huh? Lesson number 18. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, lesson number 16 and 17 are very crucial for revision. So that the new concept is very well understood with you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So try to revise 16 and 17. Huh? Every line of it, every line should be understood. Huh? Because that concept, if you understand very well, things will be very easy for you. Okay? Now, Ya Abdus Samad, Hal Zahabta Al Masjid Al Yom? Mata Zahabta? Zahabta Kabla. You went before Salah, not after Salah. <laughs> Zahabtu Kabla Salah. Or Zahabtu Kabla Al Azani. Kabla Al Azani. Salah T. Okay, Mudafilehi. Mata Rajata Min Al Masjid? Bada Salati. Bada Salati. Are you doing? But you have to say Rajatu, no? Do not let us all. <laughs> when you say Bada Salati, we understand that you return. But we want to practice properly. Are you with me? Brother Hassan, Hal Zahabta Al Masjid Al Yom? Mata Zahabta, Ya Akhi? Mashaala. Mata Rajata Min Al Masjid? Rajatu Bada Salati. Mashaala. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? Now this is, he's talking Arabic, brother. You are speaking Arabic now. Simple sentence. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, Sister Maramuna, Hal Zahabti Ilal Masjid Al Yom? MashaAllah. Mata Zahabti Ya Ukhti? MashaAllah. Wa Mata Rajati Min Al Masjid? Practice these things, uh, inshallah. Masmuka ya akhi? It's me, Muhammad. Ah, now we got to polish it yes. so that we can say it nicely. It's me, Muhammad. Masmuha? It's Muha Salma. MashaAllah. Masmuhu? It's Muhu Salma. Salma. Okay. Masmuki ya ukhti? Hafsa. If it's me, Hafsa. Masmuha? Ismuha. Well, you got to say it properly. Ismuha. Okay? Masmuki ya ukhti? Masmuha? Ismuha Hafsa. Masmuha? Ismuha Hafsa. Masmuhu? Ismuha Muhammad. See? I say mas. Why must? Because Hamzatul Wasal. Are you with me? And then we say Ism. Because the Ism is starting the sentence. Remember? Hamzatul Wasal. Huh? Inshallah, keep that in mind. Huh? We, we will practice. You know, you should practice yourself. Masmuka. Okay. Masmuha. Masmuhu. Huh? Okay. All singulars. Because in plural, uh, it will change. If you say... Uh, if you say kum, then we cannot say masmu kum. Ma asma'u kum. Ma asma'u kum. Huh? Like that. So we don't go in plural. Just do singular. Okay? Inshallah. And practice. Because you should be, you should answer with confidence and with uh, fluency, inshallah. It, it will come by practicing, inshallah. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, as I've said previously, this book concentrates on nouns. Huh? So most of the time we were dealing with marfu. And then we learn majroor. Harfchar is a majroor. And then mudaf, mudafilehi. Mudafilehi is also majroor. And then we did zarf and mudafilehi. Again mudafilehi is majroor. Huh? We did that. Huh? Now for the first time we are coming across mansub noun. Whenever Mansub will come, we will have to figure out what it is. Okay? 
whenever now will be marfu, we have to know why it is marfu. And when the now is mansub, we must know why it is mansub. But now one form of mansub is coming. Huh? One form of mansub is coming. And it is a singular form. And it is indefinite. I want you to watch how it is written. How it is spelt. Huh? Okay. Here comes our first question. Lesson number 18. Adarfu thaminu ashara. Al mudaris. Kam akhan laka ya muhammadu. Kam akhan. No, akhan. Do you see akhan? Do you see what it is? Mansu. Uh, why it is Mansu? Huh? We are going to learn. Huh? When we go in book three, brothers and sisters, the first lesson is a very big lesson, book three. It tells us everything about why the noun is Marfu, why the noun is Mansu. Huh? And if there is a noun which is Mansu, what are the possibilities? What does it tell us? The sentence will show us the reason for it being Mansu. Okay. So there are about ten different reasons why the noun is Mansu. Okay. The most common reason for the noun to be Mansu, the most common reason is to become an object of the verb. That is the most common. But again, we are, we, I'm just uh, telling you a few things as an outline. Huh? Most common reason for the noun to be mansub that it is most probably object of an verb. Huh? Okay, we will inshallah learn. Okay, if I say Muhammadun Talibun. So Muhammad is a Muptada. Sahih. Okay, Marfu. Now if I say Ra'aitu. What is the meaning of Ra'aitu? I saw. Then the, I'm asking that verb a question. Saw what? Because if, if I say I saw, the sense is not complete. Tell me more. What did you see? Huh? So sometimes, you know, with the verb, the, the sense does not come because it needs an object to make a complete sense out of the sentence. Otherwise, it is incomplete. So, in English, I say, I saw Muhammad in the souk. I saw Muhammad in the souk. So, in English, I will be subject, saw will be verb, and, and Muhammad will be object. Huh? Okay? But then, in, in English, the Muhammad remains Muhammad throughout. But if I say it in Arabic, I will say, Ra'aitu Muhammadan. What will you say? Ra'aitu Muhammadan. Why? Dan? Because it is an object. Eh? For the verb Ra'aitu. How do you see? Now this thing, brothers and sisters, I'm only telling you now. We are not studying it now. Because they will come in lesson number five in book two. Eh? Lesson number five starts to explain us the object of the verb. And by that time we'll be stronger in the verbs and I'll be explaining you many things before that. So it will become very easy and very, very interesting inshallah. Okay? Now that is the most common form of mansu. We have other forms of mansu. For example, mafulun mutlak. Okay? It sounds very uh, mysterious exotic mafulun mutlak but it is so beautiful brother this is such a beautiful style in arabic language mafulun mutlak okay we will learn soon it is also mansu but you know you always say mafulun mutlak without realizing it when somebody does you a favor what do you say shukran. brother what did you say shukran it is mansu do you see shukran how will you write shukran
Did you say shukran badahasan? Is it mansub? Yes. How do you analyze this in Arabic language? This is mafulun mutlaq. Also, we say afwan. Huh? If you, afwan means you are welcome or don't mention. We used to say in olden days, don't mention. When somebody says thank you, don't mention. No Nowadays, American style, you are welcome. <laughs> okay. So, shukran is thank you and afwan is you are welcome. But they are both in the same way. Huh? They are both mafulun mutlaq. Huh? But we are going to study them slowly, slowly. Around the middle of book two, when we do verbal nouns, what did I say? What is the meaning of verbal nouns? Nouns derived from verbs. Huh? When we do that verbal noun, then I will start mentioning uh, uh, these mafulun mutlaq, slowly, slowly. The lesson mafulun mutlaq is lesson 29 in book 3. But it is so beautiful. But I will be doing it slowly, slowly, so that by the time that lesson comes, you are ready for it. Huh? Inshallah, you will love it. Huh? And it comes in the Quran all the time. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. So, one is mafulun mutlaq, then other is hal. What did I say? Hal. hal. What is the meaning of hal? Hal kaisa hai janab ka? Kya khayal hai aapka? <laughs> so this is hal, the condition. You know, the action took place in what condition? Huh? So that is again mansub. Then we have mafululli ajli, that is also mansub. And then other, our zarfs are all mansub most of the time. See, baada, kabla, what are they? Mansub, right? They are mansub. Huh? Now we are doing something else, which is also very beautiful, brother. It, that technical term is tamiz. What is it? Tamiz. Huh? Probably there is no translation of that in English. I don't know. Maybe there is, you know. Actually, it is tam yiz. What is it? Tam yiz. Huh? But in, we always say, when we say quickly, tamiz. Huh? Now, tamiz is a noun. And it is mansub. And it comes, okay, it comes <coughs> in the sentence, okay, to, to remove any ambiguity. Huh? To remove any Ambiguity, okay. I just give you one word. Ana akbaru minka. What did I say? Ana akbaru minka. What is the translation? I am older than you. Or I am bigger than you. Did it make any sense? It did not make any sense. Did it make any sense? What way you are bigger than me, brother? You didn't tell me. Huh? So now I will tell you, now this is just an outline, we are going to study this in detail. Huh? So just try to understand as much as you can. And if you miss out something, don't worry. Okay. Ana akbaru minka sinnan. I am older than you in age. So sinnan I used tamiz as a, to, dis to dispel any ambiguity. Huh? Are you with me? So it is mansu, it comes, it is in a singular form, it is indefinite, and it is mansu. I give you another example. Ana akbaru minki. I am bigger than you. In what way? Then I will say malan. What is the meaning of malan? Money. I'm, you know, I'm richer than you. In what way? In money. So malan came. So malan will be your tamiz. Huh? This is just 
I, you know, I try, try, well, I'm trying to explain you in as simple a way as possible. All of them are coming in, in uh, lesson number four in uh, book two. They are coming in. Okay. Now, whenever you will use come in the sentence, what did I say? What is the meaning of come? Come, how many? Is it clear how many? No, it's not clear. In how many of what? Are you with me? How many of what? Huh? Then I bring tamiz. What will I bring? Tamiz. I will bring tamiz. Huh? So after come in the simplest form, will come tamiz. It will be indefinite now singular noun and it will be mansub okay for example kam kitaban indaka what will be the translation how many books you have are you with me kam kalaman indaki how many kam sayaratan indaki kam baitan indaki are you, see, after come, I am using baitan, sayaratan, kitaban, kalaman. Now, these are all mansub. So, what is this kalaman? Tamihis. What will you call it? Tamihis. Huh? Tamis. Tamihis. Huh? This is very beautiful, brother. Okay? And uh, if I tell you, come, kitaban, indaka, hmm? Kam kitaban indaka. Okay, this is a question. Okay, but indaka, what is indaka? Zarf and mudafili. Sahi? Indaka is zarf and mudafili. Can it be mubtada? No. Huh? Jar majur, zarf mudafili can never be mubtada. Huh? Never. And so that is your zarf and mudafili. It is not mubtada. And then kitaban, what is kitaban? It's tamiz. Then what is kam? Muptada. <laughs> you know, in a sentence like that, we can easily analyze the kam is muptada. Where is the khabar? That is tamiz. Where is the khabar? No, that is tamiz. Tamiz cannot be khabar. I say kam kitaban indaka. What is indaka? That is in the is your zarf shubu jumla khabar. And what is ka? Mudafili. You got the idea? Now this is in the simplest form. Huh? But we are not going to analyze that. We are only trying to understand that after come, there is a noun, mansub, it is indefinite, it is singular, and we call that mansub noun, tamiz. Huh? Inshallah. Well, and it comes in the Quran many times in the different forms. And we will study it, Inshallah. The lesson for Tamiz is also coming. I think lesson 27 or 28 in book 3. Okay? These are all advanced lessons. Dr. Abdurrahim has put them at the end of the book. You know? Before that, you will become very strong in most of the other aspects. And then these are all these Hal, Tamiz, Maful, Mutlaq. These are all cherries on the cake. You know, you make a cake, then your final decoration is you whipped cream and then on top of it, you put cherries. So these are coming at the end of book three. But whenever it will come, I will explain you so that slowly, slowly we get stronger. Okay, brother. Another thing I must point out. You have to see the uh, whole sentence. If I am asking you about your family, your children, your brothers, your sisters, then I am using Jar Majroos as Laka or Lucky. If I am asking you for things like pen, cars, books, houses, keys, even money, then I am using Inda. Are you with me? 
for families, children, brothers, sisters, we will use laka or lucky. And then for other things, we'll use in the ka or in the ki. And your answer will be accordingly. Inshallah. Watch the answer. And you will see it's very beautiful and very easy. Kam akhan laka ya Muhammad. Kam akhan, akhan, see? You know, what is akhan? Tamiz. Kam akhan laka ya Muhammad. What is the answer? Li akhun wahidun. Li akhun wahidun. But it was laka which changed into Li. Huh? What is Li? How many words are Li? How many words? This is Two. What are they? Li harf chat and pronoun Ya mutakallim. Huh? So it is Jarun or Majrun. So it has come in the beginning. When Jarun, Majrun will come in the beginning or Zarf and Mudaf ilahi will come in the beginning, most of the time they are Khabar. And then most of the time you will see the Mubtada indefinite. Uh, you will see Mubtada indefinite. Most of the time. Okay. What is the answer? Li Akhun Wahidun. Okay. I have one brother. So where is our Mubtada? Akhun. That's Sahih. Muhammad. Brother, what is Wahidun? Brother Salman. Akhun. I know it is one. But in Arabic, what will you call it? Akhun Wahidun. Khun Dun. No, not, not, not. Badal, you know, Ismu Ishara has to come. <laughs> you you seem to like Badal very much. <laughs> no, not Manud. What is it? Akhun Wahidun is not Manud. Where is, where is not Wahidun? Where is Manud? Akhun. Huh? So Akhun is our Mubtida. Now, brother and sister, yesterday we practiced. What did we practice? Dual. You know how to make dual. But in this lesson, only marfu form. Uh, make a jewel of this. Kalamani. Uh, make the jewel of this. Kitabani. Are you with me? All you do is ani. Do it ani. It's very simple. Fine. Wa kam ukhtan laka. See, kam ukhtan. What is ukhtan? Tamiz. Uh, okay. Laka. How many... Sisters, do you have? What is the answer? Li Ukhtani. I have two sisters. Li Ukhtani. Now, if you have things fresh in your mind of what we did yesterday, then you will answer it, inshallah. What is Li? Jar Majru, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Try to say Khabar Mukaddam. What will you say? Mukaddam means it came in advance. Mukaddam means it came in advance. I will write down Mukaddam. Huh? And what is the other one? The opposite of this. Mokhar means late. Mokhaddam means comes in advance. Okay, brothers and sisters. Li jar majur shibu jumla khabar. What is ukhtani? Ukhtani. It's only one word. What is it? Mubtada. Mubtada. Okay, it is Mubtara. One word, Ukhtani means two sisters. Are you with me? Now remember, we are used to seeing Dhamma at the end for Marfu. Mubtada is always Marfu. So you saw Li Akhun. Now you did not see Dhamma. So is Ukhtani Marfu? Naam. What is the alamat? Alif, mashallah. Huh? So this is now we are getting sharp. Huh? That we see Ukhtani, if you see dual with Ani, it is always Marfu. Huh? And what is the sign of it being Marfu? It's Aleph. 
Brother, you are doing very well, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. That was good, Sister Mahmuna. That was excellent. Kam ajalatan liddarrajati ya hamid. How many wheels to the bicycle? Kam ajalatan liddarrajati. See, liddarrajati came. So the answer is laha ajalatani. What is the meaning of laha? It has two wheels. Huh? What is laha? Jar majur. Shibu jumla khabar. Where is our mubtada? Ajalatani. Is it marfu? Yes. yes. What is the sign? Alif. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay. Brother, come Eidan. Wow, Eid. We're talking about Eid. Huh? Come Eidan. Fissanati ya Zakaria. How will you translate? Come Eidan. How many Eid in the year, Ya Zakaria? Huh? Are you with me? So what is Eid done? Tamiz. What is it? Tamiz. Huh? After come, it is Tamiz. Whenever you see come, it is Tamiz. Okay. That, that word, the noun which is, after come, the noun which is Mansub is Tamiz. Fissanati Eidani. In the year there are two Eids. So Fissanati, Char Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar, and Eidani is our Mubtada, and it is Marfu, and the Alamat of Rafa is Alif, inshallah. Huma Eidul Fitri wa Eidul Adha. Are you with me? All you translate? Huma, they are Eidul Fitra and Eidul Adha. Fine brother. What is Huma? First time Huma has come as a Muftada. <laughs> Where is the Khabar? Khabar is always Marfu if it is one word. Eidu, mashallah. Excellent, beautiful brother. You know, your, your understanding pleases me a lot, mashallah. Okay, and then wahuwa mudaf, and then id fitri mudaf ilahi, and then wow, ataf, and then idu. You can say in this particular case, mautufun ala, the first idu, huh? Okay, and then what is adha? Mudaf ilahi. It is mudaf ilahi. Are you with me? Idul fitri is mudaf mudaf ilahi. Wa Eidul Adha is Mudaf Mudafili. Very good. Ya Ibrahim, Abu Ka Tajirun Kabirun. Your dad is a rich merchant. Kam Sayaratan Hindahu. Sayaratan Tamis. Kam Sayaratan Hindahu. What is the translation, brother? How many cars does he have? What is the answer? Indahu Sayaratani Kabiratani Wa Sayaratani Sahiratani See how clever Dr. Abdurrahim is that he, he brings us simple sentences in which we can understand our Muqtada Khabar and our Naat Manut. Huh? So but the Indahu What is Inda? Zarf and you will say immediately Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then who? Mudaf ilahi. And where is Mubtada? Sayyaratani. And what is Kabiratani? Naat. Why it is Naat? Because it matches. You know Naat must match in number. If the, if the Manut is dual, the Naat has to be dual. If the Manut is Marfu, the Naat has to be Marfu. So do you see Kabiratani Marfu? Yes. yes. What is the sign of Marfu? Yes. Alif. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Wa Sayaratani Sagiratani. And two small cars. Very good. Kam nafizatan fi gurfatika ya Ismailu. What is it? Kam 
nafizatan. What is nafizatan? Windows. Windows. It is tamiz, mashallah. It is tamiz. Windows, gurfat, fi, gurfatika. Fi harf jar, gurfati isam majroor, wa huwa mudaf and ka mudaf ilayhi. Mashallah, mashallah. Fiha nafizatani. What is fiha? Chahar majroor. Shubhu jumla khabar. And what is nafizatani? Mubtada. Marfu. And the sign of Marfu by the Salman? <coughs> Alif. Mashallah. Mashallah. Liman. Okay. Now comes Hazani. Huh? So we have to now <coughs> learn Hazani. Okay. Brother. What is this? Hada. And what is this? Are you with me? And what is this brother? And what is this again? Singular, plural. What is dual? Haza, hazani. What is it? Ha, za, ni. Dual. So we are learning dual of hazana. And hazihi is ha, ta, ni. Look at the spelling. Huh? Make sure we, we understand the spelling. Huh? Hatani, hazani. Okay? 